from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm James Tully. Greg Diaz, a look at your forecast in a moment. First, though, today is tax day. It's a month later than normal because of the pandemic. If you're expecting a refund, don't expect it anytime soon. An unusually large backlog of returns from 2019 and 2020 are still being processed. The IRS also says it is taking longer to process mail documents like paper tax returns and related correspondence. As with every tax day, restaurants and retailers are offering some freebies and deals. We've posted all that on abcactionnews.com. If you need help filing electronically, there are free electronic filing services available. Just look for this article on our website and our free mobile app as well. If you can't make today's deadline, you can file for an extension, but if you owe money, you have to pay an estimated amount today or else pay a 0.5% penalty each month. Target is the latest company to change its mask policy. It will no longer require fully vaccinated customers to wear face masks. Shoppers at Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, Trader Joe's, Starbucks and Publix won't have to wear masks regardless of vaccination status unless local regulations require them. Some local stores, however, still trying to figure out how to handle shoppers going forward. Small businesses that we spoke to say the CDC's revised mask guidelines caught them off guard. Some are getting rid of their mask requirements altogether, but then you've got others who say not yet. One thing that we're not comfortable doing is having people basically disclose their medical information to us in forms of, hey, I don't have to wear my mask because I've been vaccinated. I don't want to know if you've been vaccinated or not. I think that's your very personal business. So we're just requiring them across the board. Public health experts say vaccinated people are unlikely to contract or transmit COVID-19. Fish oil supplements may not be as effective as you think. A new Cleveland Clinic study found fish oil did not reduce the risk of a heart attack or stroke, and it appears to increase the risk of an irregular heartbeat. For that reason, researchers don't believe taking fish oil is a good recommendation. If you have questions, talk to your doctor. Nikita Kucherov helped the Lightning begin their quest for a second straight Stanley Cup with a win. Kuch missed the entire regular season after having hip surgery in December. Scored twice last night against the Florida Panthers. Braden Point, though, he scored twice too, including the one that really mattered. This one that put the Lightning up 5-4 with just seconds remaining. Game two is tomorrow night. At 8 o'clock. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. Uh, Going to be a big game. I'm glad to see the Bolts back in action in the playoffs. Hello, everyone. A really nice day out there today. Temperatures mid to upper 80s. Yes, it's going to be a little warm, maybe hot for some of you, but the humidity will be lower and there's going to be a really nice east breeze. That east breeze just bringing in a few scattered clouds today. But later in the week, there may be a couple of showers. Uh, the rain chances to expect for the rest of the work week right now on my Instagram stories at Greg D. Weather. James. All right, Greg, thank you so much. You can get all your news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Have a great day.